The Ada Carini Nebula, NGC 3372, is one of the largest diffuse nebulas in our skies. It's four times bigger than the famous Orion Nebula, but not so well known because this is up far in the south, southern hemisphere. Its uh, estimated distance is between six and a half to 10,000 light years. It contains multiple new hot O-type stars. It uh, is the brightest nebula that surround, it surrounds several open clusters of stars. This is a very, very active star forming region. It's about two light years across with uh, lots of interesting stuff going on in there. Got supermassive stars forming, living just a few million years, then blowing up, pushing the nebula around even more, collapsing, making more stars. Very active region. These next three pictures of a, are of a really odd duck. It's called uh, CG4. It's a ruptured cometary globule. It has nothing to do with comets. It just kind of looks like one in the sky. It's a, a dust cloud, uh, a birthplace of stars, kind of falling apart. A young star is forming off of the top of this picture, throwing this jet at 100 kilometers per second. The whole thing's 150 light years distant. Dark molecular clouds are just clouds of gas and dust that are so dense that starlight can't shine through them. This is Barnard Cloud 68, 500 light years away, a half a light year across. One light year across, 400 light years away, Barnard 7 molecular cloud is one degree wide on the sky. BHR 71 and next is uh, Barnard 163. At a distance of 450 light years, this field of view is huge, seven degrees across, called Pipe Nebula east of Antares. <coughs> Reflection Nebula VDB 152 is really very faint. It's uh, 1,400 light years away and seven light years across. Snake Nebula Barnard 72 and then the next one is the E Nebula in Aquila. VDB 142. VDB 141 is a molecular cloud 1,200 light years away, two light years across. The Eagle Nebula, known as Messier 16 or NGC 6611, is 7,000 light years distance. It's a tower of gas can be seen coming off the nebula. It's approximately 10 light years long. Its age is estimated to be 1 to 2 million years. The last picture is the Pillars of Creation show a large region of star formations. Small dark areas in the photograph are believed to be protostars. Inside the columns on their surfaces, astronomers have found knots or globs of denser gas called EGGs, evaporating gaseous globulars. Stars are being formed inside some of these EGGs. The longest pillar is seven light years long. Because of their mass, the interior gases contract gravitationally to form stars. At the end of each pillar, intense radiation of bright young stars causes low-density material to boil away. 
This movie shows how stars move around inside a star cluster. It's a computer simulation. The gum nebula is 400 light years from the front edge and 1,500 light years from the back edge. It's huge, 41 degrees wide on the sky. It's a supernova remnant about a million years old. It also contains a smaller and younger remnant, the Vela supernova remnant, along with the Vela pulsar. The Cone Nebula is a hydrogen-2 region in the lower left of this, this 2.5 degree wide picture. The cone shape comes from a dark absorption nebula consisting of cold molecular hydrogen and dust in front of a faint emission nebula containing hydrogen ionized by S. Monocertos, the brightest star of NGC 2264. The faint nebula is approximately 7 light years long and is 2.7 thousand light years away from Earth. These teardrop-shaped uh, clouds are star. Is a star forming in there? It's uh, maybe uh, half a light year across. The Rio Ophiuchi cloud complex is 400 years light distance and spans five light years. There's 300 newly formed stars of 300,000 years old. It's one of the closest star forming regions to our solar system. It's huge. It covers an area 5 by 6 degrees on the celestial sphere of our sky. Total of 3,000 times the mass of our solar sun is, is in there. Uh, the stars age are from 100,000 to a million years old. The globular cluster M4 to the bottom and slightly to the right is not associated with this uh, star forming region. It is much, much further away. Young star cluster Westerland 2 is 2 million years old, distance 20,000 light years. The square is 50 light years on a side. Next one is star cluster R136 inside 30 Doralis Triangulum Nebula in the Large Magellanic Cloud, 170,000 light years away. The uh, next one is the, the Seven Sisters uh, M45. You can see this one with your naked eye. It's uh, over 30,000 stars and 400 light years away, 13 light years across. The last one is NGC 2246, the Fox Fur Unicorn Christmas Tree Nebula, 3,000 light years distance. The image spans almost a full degree, covering 40 light years. The Coronet star forming region is a cluster. It's a mere 420 light years away, and the view spans two light years. This is the Cygnus wall of star formation. These are three star forming regions. The first two pictures are RCW 38. The second one here after Okay, now this one is RCW 
and RCW 108, all star forming regions. Star forming region S106. Star forming region, region Shapless 171, 3,000 light years away, spans 20 light years. Star forming region DR6, some call it the Spooky Region Nebula. Zeta Ophiuchi is screaming along at 24 kilometers per second. This infrared picture of its bow shock shows it. The uh, star has got uh, 20 solar masses. It's 4 million years old. It's a hot O-type star with 65,000 times the sun's luminosity. This image is 1.5 degrees or 12 light years across. It's uh, 460 light years away. This may be a former component of a binary system where the former massive star exploded in a type 2 supernova, leaving this star screaming along at a high velocity. Uh, currently, it's in a dust-rich area of the galaxy. It's creating a bow shock in the direction of its motion. It, uh, it's giving off mass at the rate of one sun, or sun's worth, every nine million years. XZ Tauri system is two uh, stars orbiting each other. There are two T Tauri stars orbiting each other. It's uh, 450 light years away and the orbit is about the same as Pluto is from our Sun. Notice the expansion over the years of the super flare that came off of one of the stars. Wolf Rayet stars are normal stage of the evolution of a very massive star. This is WR-124. It's over 20 times the mass of the Sun, and it's losing mass rapidly by means of its very, very strong stellar wind, up to 2,000 kilometers per second. This star is losing about 5 to 10 solar masses every year. It's very hot and very luminous, to several thousand times as bright as our own Sun. V838 Monocertos is about 20,000 light years away, while the light echo spans about six years in diameter. It's a red variable star, and possibly one of the largest known stars. In 2002, it experienced a major outburst. The, the reason for this outburst is still uncertain, but a stellar death process might be involved, or perhaps the merger of a binary star or planets. It was originally thought it was a nova. It produced this light pulse, and in a light echo, the light travels directly from the object, arrives at us first. But then if there are clouds of interstellar matter around the star, some of the light is reflected from the clouds. Because of the longer path, the reflected light arrives later, producing the vision of an expanding rings of light around the object. This light echo is reflecting from dust that is mostly behind the star. The bright red star in the center here is the nearest known star to the Sun, Proxima Centauri. It's a red dwarf about two and a quarter light years away. It's part of a triple star system which also includes Alpha and Beta Centauri but they are another quarter of a light year further beyond it. They're all in orbit together. Beautiful double star Albiro. Eta Carini is a luminous blue variable about 8,000 light years away. It has a mass about 150 times that of the Sun. Its gravity is barely strong enough to hold on to the radiation and gas that it's giving off. It's more than 5 million times brighter than our Sun. In 1848 it had a supernova imposter event uh, where it produced almost as much as light as a supernova explosion, which it will eventually go supernova. This is an extremely huge, large, unstable star.
AE Urija and the Flaming Star Nebula IC405, one and a half thousand light years away, spans five light years. HH47, a young star, one and a half thousand light years away, the jet expands from 1994 to 2008. The length is 10,000 astronomical units. It's expanding at 150,000 150 kilometers a second. Star Cloud IRAS 05437. Reflection Nebula. VDB1, five light years across, 1,600 light years away. The tulip in the swan, 8,000 light years away. 